proper rational argument focuses on the context of the claim, not the person making it. Sounds like it makes a lot of sense. However, it's a lot easier said than done. So let's now define our predicates where X is the claim. And we have AX where X is an invalid argument. P is the proposition being debated. Let's say the proposition being debated. So therefore, we'll have A, C1, P. So here is X is a valid argument. If X is a valid argument, then P is the, then we can comp conclude P. But the ad hom or ad hominem attacking the person exists where we have says PX, which is when person P claims X. We have bad person, the person who's so naughty and horrible. So person P has a negative characteristic. And then we have C X. I don't know what I'm doing with the brackets there. Let me just do that again, not C X. So that means claim C is invalid. So the ad hom happens as says P X and bad person P if then sign not C X. So let's say Jimmy says that climate change is real. And then the person replies, well, Jimmy, you take 200 flights a day. Actually, no, you take a flight to work every single day because he's a rich boy. So climate change can't be real. It's obviously invalid. It means that you've attacked the person instead of the claim that they're trying to make. But anyway, that's ad homs.